The 149th running of the Kentucky Derby is set for Saturday, May 6th at Churchill Downs in Louisville. The actual race only takes two minutes, but the festivities last all day long. If you can make it to Churchill Downs, you can host your own Kentucky Derby party at home, but you need to start planning now. And luckily, we're getting some help from a professional. Shayna Jordan is with Oyster Shell Strategy. Yes. Shayna, good morning. Good morning. I'm excited. Yeah, it's fun. A great theme, you know. Any party takes planning, so that is the key. We mostly do corporate events, large corporate events and fundraisers, so it takes months and months. But we don't have that time now. No, we don't. It's May 6th. Next so, weekend. You know, what is the most important thing about planning a party is what is the experience that you want your guests to have. Right. So, like, think about that. So, okay. what is the experience? Then you have a budget. So you have a budget, you set your budget. Are you going to have it at a location? Are you going to have it at home? So determine that, that's the big okay. key. Then you go food and beverage, decorations, entertainment, um, and then what to wear. Okay, so what about, so, okay, so I guess we can start with decor, right? Decor, yes. Everyone thinks of the Kentucky Derby, obviously Churchill Downs has some beautiful scenes and how that looks, and then the red roses on yes. the horses, and then part of, Part of the look is the hats. Yes, it's what I people love the wear. Hats. So it's true southern hospitality. It is the hats, it's the fascinators, it's all things big and fun. Uh, men, seer sucker suits, yes. traditional, bow, bow ties, ties, those type <laughs> of things. So the the true southern look. But then we go to food and beverage. My favorite. Okay, what do we have to have? We see the mint juleps here, a must, right? Yes, that, that is the key to having a Kentucky Derby party is having the mint juleps. Um, obviously, I love the, the silver traditional cups, um, but you know, there's a lot of fun different styles of cups out right now that you can use for mint juleps, but having the cups, having the mint, um, food ranges yes. a lot now. So it used to be so traditional, but you know, bourbon soaked chicken wings. Ooh. I good. know, I know. Good. So there's a lot of different things that you can do for food. Um, if you actually go to the Kentucky Derby's website right now, they have some recipes oh, that you can make that they're actually going to be serving to the Millionaire's Row. So wow. that's fun. You could actually still, you have a couple of days, you could order programs from the Derby to have sent to your house if you're going to have a party. For the party. For the party. Perfect. So that way, that folds into the entertainment and like what you're going to offer your guests to do because like you said, the race is two minutes. Yeah. Yes. So then what are you going to do? So you can start looking at the program and you can do some little bets on who you think is going to win to kind of tie that into the actual, you know, derby since we're not getting to go. Um, but yes, yeah, so yes. that and then think about it. Two minutes. So what else are you going to do? So you need to think about what else you're going to do for your party. You know, you can have some other games. You can have a jazz band, you know, have live uh, music. Sounds like a good idea. I a trio. Know. So there's a lot of fun things you can do, but just it's really about thinking of what you want your guests experience to be and what you want them to leave feeling and then planning and budgeting. Now, typically when y'all do these corporate events, how much time in advance should people start reaching out or start planning? Honestly, I prefer a year. It doesn't take a whole year, but it depends on if it's a brand new event and it's never been done before. We have to choose a venue. We have to promote it if it's a fundraiser. So it really just depends. If it's not uh, open to the public fundraising event, I would say six to eight months. Oh, There's wow. not a lot of venues in Mobile. Oh. I mean, people think there are, but depending on the size of your event, there's a handful. Yeah. So getting on that list and getting the date that you want is really important. Do I typically get the Kentucky Derby themed events? So we have not yet. Oh, okay. Okay, nice. <laughs> I've, I've been helping people do some home events just on the side because yeah. I love the Kentucky Derby. So I want to be a part of it. But yeah, we have not done a Kentucky Derby corporate event yet. Wow. So Shayna, so call me. Yeah. So anyone wants to call you <laughs> Next with that year. information, yes. where, where can they reach you at? Yeah. OysterShellStrategy.com. It has our phone number, um, an email address, and some more information about us. Well, Shayna, thank you so much. Thank can I drink this? Um, I'm just sure. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> if you want more information, make sure to go to fox10tv.com and make sure to click on that Studio 10 tab.